Alright, here is my review of the Axon 7 Mini. Got it sort of to replace the Honor 5X, which was a, a good phone, great phone, no really quabbles with it. I was just getting a little hung up with certain things on it. It was lagging a little bit here and there, uh, and the size of it was just big enough to annoy me. Uh, the 7 Mini is uh, slightly smaller. If we press it over here, it's got the little protective case that it comes with. It's not a lot smaller, but it's just lightly smaller enough to make it feel a lot smaller, surprisingly. So um, I got the screen brightness set to a different setting on the Honor, and I had it higher on the Axon, but it got too bright and couldn't see it on the screen. So I'm just going to leave it the way it is here. Now, with this phone, again, the size of it was great. This is the protective cover that it came with in the package. You got the camera, the fingerprint sensor, uh, settings on the side, volume and, and power just like it did with the Honor. Exact same kind of setup as the other. And then on this side you've got the ports for the uh, SD card and SIM card. So both of these are dual SIM card phones. Uh, they both have expandable micro SD cards. However, this one you can do two SIM cards and a micro SD card. This one, it's either going to be one or the other. You can have two SIMs and a micro SD in there as well. So the biggest difference between these two is the speakers. And uh, they are phenomenal speakers on the Axon 7 Mini. Uh, compared to pretty much any other device that's not going to have these dual hi-fi speakers on the front. Um, I'm not going to play a sample of it because it's obviously going to be a little different depending on what you're listening to, but the speakers are great. Call quality is great. Uh, responsiveness is really quick. It's got three gigabytes uh, or three megabytes of memory in it and the size of 16 megabyte pretty comparable to other devices in this same category. The speed of it is a little bit faster than the Honor, although they're talking with the same, they're playing with the same processor basically. Um, but the the RAM gives it just a little bit extra. The one thing that I did notice though is on the screen with uh, some game, uh, the graphics in the background for some reason just on this game, Sticky Man Golf 3, uh, in the background it is a little bit worse um, on the Axon than it is on the Honor. And I don't think that we're going to be able to really see it that well on this device because for some reason the camera I'm recording it is showing the screen hertz in the background of the Axon. Uh, one thing though, this game lags a ton on this device and not so much on this one, which is nice. Uh, but for some reason the graphics are just a little bit different on this guy. Light lines in the background in the, in the, where the clouds are. It's quite smooth. There's no lines or anything going on in the background. Now that's the only in that game. Uh, in the Swamp Hunter Swamp Attack game, they're the exact same. So it might just be with the game. I'm not exactly sure. Um, the biggest change between these two phones is that this one's got the classic background apps, and the Honor 5X is more iPhone-esque in that regard. There isn't any big uh, app drawer for it. Um, everything else basically the same. It, it, for me one of the changes was getting used to the different UI. Um, I wasn't as much of a fan. Um, I mean when you look at the Honor and the, the icons and everything on this guy as opposed to the icons here, they're definitely more drab um, and that has to do with the UI. I can't change that so a little bit of an annoyance. The other thing too is with the drop down with the shortcuts uh, to go in and change you know you set up the Wi-Fi SIM card 1 and 2 vibrate and GPS now if I want to go into the options to change things around it goes to frequently used and you can't adjust what's on here it's just these are the ones and all settings where you've got the classic Android menu so if I wanted something else in this area there's nothing I can really do about it. I've got to go into the settings and dig around whereas with the Honor if I go and pull this down 
and click on shortcuts. There's a whole bunch of different shortcuts I can do and I can edit that around and put in there what I'd like. So that was a really nice feature that was easy to get used to and hard to adapt without. Now lastly is the camera. The camera on this guy in comparison to the Honor 5X kind of sucks. I'll show you some pictures in comparison. Responsiveness and speed of the camera is just fine. Everything else works like it should on the camera. There's really no issues there. There is a nice manual um, manual settings and everything else on the camera that the Honor doesn't have and a lot of other phones in this price range don't have and you can adjust uh, quite a few things in that manual setting which is nice if you want to take the time to fool around with it. It will automatically uh, uh, default to night mode when you're taking pictures at night which is fine unless you want to uh, adjust things a little bit. I noticed that it was better to go into the manual mode at night to take pictures and adjust the white balance. There is a definite blue uh, hue to most of these pictures as compared to a couple other phones, especially with the Honor 5X. I was taking pictures of those side by side. Now there are things that the cameras are going to be a little bit better with. Um, certain dynamic range and HDR, but overall I sort of preferred the camera on the Honor X 5X as opposed to the 7 Mini because it had a warmer tone to it. Uh, the, the selfie camera, although I don't use that a lot, was a lot better. When you look at the selfie pictures of my ugly face, you can see that one at least tries to make it look prettier than the other. It, if you do a lot of selfies, you're not going to like the camera on the Axon 7 as much as other cameras. But in general use, the, the pictures coming from the Axon uh, are going to be just fine. Fingerprint sensor is really good. Just put the finger on there, it pops right up. No complaints with the fingerprint sensor or really the other sensors in the phone. My biggest drawback, aside from the UI, is the camera. Um, but to make up for it, the speakers are fantastic and I listen to music more than I'm taking pictures, so to me it's a big trade-off. The size of it, although it is not tiny phone, it's got a nice screen, it really fits my hand a lot better. Call quality is fabulous, it's really easy when you're holding it up to, to your ear as opposed to the Honor. Um, again, the size is just so slight, but when you uh, are using it the difference actually makes uh, it, it's quite a big difference so I'm, I'm impressed with the size of it I like the size that's the main reason I'm keeping it I'll get used to the camera I'll eventually get used to the UI and uh, I'll just go from there so overall great phone great build quality um, very happy with it it was on sale over the Black Friday weekend here for 199 so can't really quabble at that price and uh, it's uh it's a great device so keeping it